Good day everyone, this is Isis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the full moon phase which is happening on the 13th of July, Wednesday. The day of Mercury, the day of communication. So today is actually Monday, the day of the moon. And this is a day of emotion. So as an emotion for today, how have you been feeling? Have you been more fatigued than usual? Have you been reminiscing about the events of your life, but don't feel you've quite measured up in any capacity? Or have you been reminiscing about the positives of your life? So one thing about this moon phase, which is taking place is it is a time of, even though it is a growing moon, and we are in the gibbous and in growing um, enhancement of our manifestations. But with this particular moon phase being a mega moon, which to take place on its full moon spherical abundance time, what will be taking place is you will be letting go of all that negative bullshit you've been harboring about yourself. It's time to recognize what the media has been feeding you is bullshit. And you looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, hmm, am I enough? Have I attained my goals? I'm this age and I've lost this and I've done that or I haven't reached the goals of manifestations that I anticipated for my own self and my own outcomes. What the hell is going on? When that comes in your mindset, no, it's time to let that go. It's time to say, I am enough. Everything's happening for me. And one thing I want to talk about was the millionaire mindset, which I've learned through this lifetime specifically. Um, everybody finds success at different times, everybody. And the only person you should be competing with is yourself. So these are a couple of the lessons that I wanted to discuss with you. Now, for many, many years, I lived in Beijing, China. And for those of you who have never been to China or you've just heard about it, you don't really understand what I'm saying, so I'll do it as simple as I can. And Beijing, this is where every millionaire, billionaire on earth goes. Trust me. Because they want to do business. And they want to do business where there's a mass population. And China has the mass population. And the people with the money. Therefore, that's where you want to make your money. So, everybody goes to Beijing. You go to nightclubs to do business in Beijing. I've never been to a nightclub in my life except for when I was in Beijing. And that's because I ran my own um, tra an English training center. I had about my lowest point, I had 168 students. My average was around 800 students. So, and the difficulty I had was finding teachers, even if I was willing to pay them $5,000 a month, they didn't want to do the work and they couldn't make that much out of their schools. So I generally ran the operation alone, which was really hard. And that's why I just, eventually I just shut down. Um, but I was on average doing between, the lowest was 10,000, on average around 40,000 American a month. Um, so you see, why would you leave that? Because money just didn't matter. Money flows to me easily and it'll come from any direction, any source. That's why in uh, previous sessions I've talked about I've made loads and I've made nothing. <laughs> both ways, I've been both ways. And it just doesn't matter. Money doesn't make who you are. It does not matter. So the one thing you wanna do though, you don't wanna put yourself to the, the level of poverty. So you can have nothing, but you can be living in an abundance with nothing. You don't have to have the dollar signs. You don't have to have those 
symbols in your account, whether the account is a positive or a negative, it just doesn't matter. Money is a flow of energy. Are you having abundance of energy flowing in your life? So that's the thing you gotta ask yourself. So when things occur to me, I say, okay, there's an energy exchange going on. Maybe I need to refocus my energies. Maybe I had some negative energy or I had negative energy flow at me. Therefore, I'm showing a negative balance. Or maybe I am rebalancing a massive positive, which is in my future that I haven't seen in the present. Either way, no. It's all energy. You have to reprogram your mind to hit the energy levels. That's the meaning of competing with yourself. So the millionaire mindset, the men that I was surrounded by in Beijing really trained me on their mindset when I was pretty young. And what they taught me was, as a millionaire, you're gonna make nothing. You're gonna be negative $20 million and not be able to make $1. And suddenly you're gonna flow 50 million in a millisecond. And that's the way a millionaire mindset is because they say it's all energy and it all flows to you and it all flows through you. To you and through you. So you just do your business. You don't look at those numbers. And you say, well, I need to invest in the following. I may not have the money capacity to invest. Therefore, you talk to the people you're investing with. You make negotiations. You make trade negotiation. You work it out. You make trade negotiation with your employees. You always pay your employees. And whether you've got it or not, just know it's there. And I just have to see it. I know it's there and it's always there on time. That's the millionaire mindset. So I want you to start competing with yourself. Whatever it is that you are trying to manifest in your life and you're feeling a lull, a negative, a, a stop in the abundance factor, don't think on that. Think on, I know I have a positive outcome. It's already there, it already exists. I already have the account and put it in your mind. So another thing you can do to help with your manifestations because you're trying to reprogram the subconscious mind. So to reprogram your subconscious, if you haven't been successful yet, I want you to take a paper. Remember my 369? You'll write it three times in the morning, three times in the afternoon, and six times in the afternoon, three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times in the evening. You'll write your manifestation. My bank account, write the number of that bank account. Holds, and then write your, write your outcome. $18,000, $1,800, whatever you wanna write. And you write that three times, just write it my bank account, write that number, write down the amount, holds, and then write down that amount. That's one way to do it. Another way to do this manifestation is you just write it one time, you speak it three, you speak it nine times in the evening before you go to sleep, you put that manifestation under your pillow and you sleep on it. And that reprograms your subconscious mind. And you wanna do this Tonight being the Monday, the night of the moon, which is emotion. Tomorrow, which is a wonderful night, because tomorrow is the night of the um, Mars, and Mars is action, Mars is fire, Mars is abundance. And then Wednesday is the final manifestation, because now we got that mega moon, speak it, speak it nine times out loud, speak it 33 times out loud, speak it 99 times out loud, which one you would want to choose. It's nine, 33 or 99. Then burn it and burn it with your frankincense. If it's for love, you wanna add some, or even for money, love or money. You wanna do frankincense adjoined with dragon's blood. Frankincense and dragon's blood. If it's for something other than love or money, 
You can do it with frankincense adjoined with myrrh, dark charcoal myrrh. So um, these two. Now some manifestors don't agree with me on the myrrh, but this is an abundance uh, mechanism you'll want to use. So generally we use dragon's blood. Sometimes you can use the myrrh. I wish you all a beautiful day.